The National Native American Veterans Memorial opened to the public in Washington, D.C. last week with the hope of becoming a sacred place for generations of American Indians past, present, and future. Julia Benbrook reports from our nation's capital on the memorial, which was designed by an Oklahoman. This memorial has been years in the making for designer Harvey Pratt. It doesn't focus on a specific war. Instead, it honors a group of people and their unique service to our country. Now that, now that we're starting to see it come to an end, it's a really an emotional thing for me. To stand here and watch people go out here and tie prayer cloths and sing, you know, and dance, that, their emotion transfers to me. Pratt connects with the mission of this memorial as a Native American veteran himself. He's a member of the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes and served in Vietnam as a Marine. He really brought his experience as a Native person who's grown up um, in this tradition of service to his design for the memorial. He's really created a wonderful space for gathering and for remembrance. Pratt's design was chosen as the winner of an international competition. His work is now permanently outside the Museum of the American Indian on the National Mall. It's hard to wrap your brain around the fact that, that that me from Oklahoma was one of a number, no name, no just a number, uh, to win this to win this uh, competition. It was really hard to think that Harvey, your memorial is there with Washington, Lincoln, and Jefferson. And the Warrior Circle of Honor is full of symbolism that he hopes all tribes can relate to. And when they step inside that inner circle, they're going to be in harmony with the elements, with the directions with the, the water, the fire, the earth, and the air. And the steel ring is a hole in the sky where the Creator lives, and our prayers go through there, and, and His answers come back through there to us. It's a portal. Data shows that Native Americans have the highest per capita involvement of any population that serves in the U.S. military. For all of you that are Native American warriors, God bless you. Thank you for your service to our country. We're proud of you country's proud of you. For, for decades before they were granted citizenship or the right to vote, um, Native people came forward when, when called to defend this country. There's a long, um, very long tradition of service. Many uh, families have generations who've served. Due to the ongoing pandemic, the Veterans Day dedication ceremony did take place virtually. You can watch that full program at the National Museum for the American Indian website. For the Oklahoma News Report, I'm Julia Benbrook.